Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I am uh, heading out to Laurel Run Falls at Laurel Run Park here in Church Hill, Tennessee, my backyard. And uh, I'm going to show you all how to use a MD 10 stop filter. I had some uh, questions from my last video on uh, what was that piece of tape over the back of my viewfinder. So, I'm going to go over that and show you why that was there and how to use the 10 stop. So, let's head out to the falls and show you how to use it. You know, it's not a hard hike to Laurel Run Falls. It's about 1.1 miles. But man, it's 100 degrees outside. Legit 100. It's about 80 in the shade. But being a big dude, it's hot. Hot as hell. So, man. It's still a good day to be outside though. I just wanted to point out that the trail is marked with these blue circles. So you'll see a white circle, a blue circle, and a black circle. The blue leads you to the waterfall. Hey, so I have everything set up, ready to go. Excuse the sweat. It's a bajillion degrees out here, and I'm dying, but it'd be, I'll be okay. But um, I've got it set up. I've got the filter on. I pre-focus before I put the filter on, switch it to manual. This way, your camera doesn't have trouble finding it. It's already set up. It's ready to go. You always want to use a shutter release and switch it to bulb. That way you can uh, have longer than 30 seconds for your shot. This one's three minutes long. And what a 10-stop filter does is it adds 10 stops to the total length of the correct exposure time. So you can find an app. It's easier to use an app and instead of doing the math in your head. So right now I've got a three minute exposure and I'm set up, ready to go. Don't forget to put a piece of black tape over the back of your viewfinder. This way light won't leak in and ruin your image and streak it to death. So, but that's what the tape I used uh, in my last video was for, was for uh, light leaks. And uh, I'll show you that in just a minute, but right now I've got a three minute exposure going and we'll see what that looks like. So here's the black tape on the back of the viewfinder here, keeping the light from coming in. And let's see what our three minute exposure looks like here. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Let's see what it looks like in post processing. But I just wanted to show you the, the tape on the back here. That's what you do. You just cover it up. That way no light comes in. Hey, so I wanted to mention I'm not sponsored in any way by k &F filters. I use a bunch of other filters too, like B&W and Lee. Lee makes great ND filters and gradient filters. They have a great kit. But the difference is the Lee filters are 200 plus bucks. 
and the KNF concept filter is 60 bucks and to me it's just as good I mean it is a terrific piece of glass and it comes with a nice carrying case comes with all the millimeter rings that you need for all the different sizes and the holder for 60 bucks 60 70 bucks off Amazon so you really can't beat it it's the best dollar for your best bang for your buck there you go so got caught up there a minute but it is a terrific filter and I highly recommend it all right so I'm packed up walking back to the car just finished little little run falls and as I put the camera away the light dipped down a little bit and I ended up taking a six and a half minute exposure I like it a lot better but uh, we'll see what it looks like when I get back but all in all pretty nice little trip so me and my poor and sweat self was uh, almost to, a, to the falls back there on my way up and this lady was walking back and she goes, honey, you're so close to the falls, you can make it. I was like, oh yeah, I know, I'm almost there. She's like, oh, you can do it. I was like, lady, I've done this like a hundred times, I'm just fat. She kind of laughed and went on. But I was like, man, do I look that bad to where people think I'm about to die on the trail? Like, it's not a hard trail, I'm just fat. I don't know. Just thought it was pretty funny. Wanted to share it. So I just got back to the car and I'm about to head home to edit the picture. I'll put uh, all the settings I used to capture it at the bottom of the image, along with a link in the bio of the KNF 10 stop ND filter, uh, the Amazon link. That way, if anybody wants it, they can go buy it. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored by them. It's just a really good filter. So if you liked everything, enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe. That's how we support the channel. So, till next time. Later.